Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tori Sterling. If you guys are new here, hello, subscribe, join the Starling fam. And if you guys are part of my Starling fam, hey, welcome back. But anyway, like I said, I'm Tori Sterling and you're watching a fitness vlog. I'm starting the vlog a little bit later than I normally do. It's like 10.45 right now and I'm getting ready for my noon class. It's also a Tuesday if I didn't say that. Um, so I teach at noon, which means I have to start getting ready for it. And after my class, the plan is to meet up with one of the other instructors, Kristen. She's been in the vlog so many times. She literally is like one of my best friends. We are going to go to Lululemon and have a Lulu date and probably get some like lunch or something. Also, don't mind my hair. I haven't done my hair yet, so it's gonna look way better in like five minutes. Just give me some time. In the last vlog that I put up, I sort of skipped like the very middle to end of my day just because one, the vlog was getting too long, and second, because it really wasn't important anymore. Like the main focus of that thing was the energy ball, so it like just wasn't really relevant. But I taught my 5 p.m. spin class and then I went back to Lifetime Fitness, and I never go there at night, like literally ever. The only only time I've, I've been there at night maybe like two or three times and the only times that I have gone it's been for like a meditation class so I'm not even there for like anything legit you know like I'm not even working out like I'm just going to like meditate or I'm going to stretch in the sauna or I take a stretching class okay but yesterday I was like okay I'm gonna go work out after my 5 p.m. class so I did I went and I like did a little bit of abs and um, I saunaed and I went there and I like you know I always like looking good whenever I leave my house anyway just because like I just feel better about myself so I left Solby feeling like pretty good about how I looked and then I got to the gym and I was like oh my god first off all the hot guys work out at night so that's a little intimidating second um all of the girls that worked out there have the best most toned bodies I've ever seen. They all work out and like lift in sports bras. Like they all look like Tammy Hembro. Like I'm not kidding, every single girl there. And I was like, oh my God, like I literally look like a little, a little turd next to like all these girls. So I am gonna go back tonight with my best outfit on. I'm gonna have my hair and makeup done because I won't be teaching class right before I go. And you know what? I'm going to look cute and I'm not going to wear a sports bra because my abs need to be a little more toned before I do that. I'm just kidding. I sound super like annoying, but like I'm not kidding. Like everyone that goes there is beautiful, boys and girls. And I was like, wow, this is just like something new. Like coming from a freaking LA fitness or coming from my spin studio where it's all us girlies just spinning together and no one gives a shit about how we look because it's all girls and the occasional like one boyfriend that gets dragged along. Um, it's such a difference to go to like this premier gym and like, I don't know, I felt very intimidated. Not by like the equipment or the gym or anything, but by how pretty everybody was. Like I can't roll up looking like this. You think I can do this? No way. Literally no one except me cares. Everyone was wearing like Sasky collection and I'm like, okay, so we're all like on this YouTube roll together, I guess. Look me up, I'm Tori Sterling. All right, now I look a little bit better. I've been bribing myself all morning that I could have a pumpkin ball. And if you guys don't know what these are, watch my last vlog. They are the best thing literally ever. Have one before your workouts. They're just so good. I'm literally obsessed with them. Someone else's hair do this. All right, class is over and I'm very excited to share with everyone my expert guide on how to look good after a workout. Obviously right now I look really bad and we're just gonna show you how to get from good looking, I mean from bad looking to good looking. So first step is to always bring a change of clothes. So I always have something to change into regardless of what my workout is because first off you never know if you're gonna end up going to like brunch or something and you wanna wear like athleisure or if you're going to another workout. Also it's really bad for like the lady areas to just sit in sweaty workout pants. It's really bad and everyone smells, no one wants to smell when they sweat, like always just bring a change of clothes. So today, this is a top from Lululemon. This is like one of my favorite tops ever. Um, it's just like this cute one, thumb holes. My sports bra doesn't really matter what my sports bra is. And then these are just, my feet look really dirty, they're not. I think that's just the lighting. These are just the Lulu Wonder Unders. They're like my everyday basic leggings. Next up, let's start at the top with the hair. Um, so first off, this is what my hair looks like. So all that you have to do is tuck this behind your ears and you instantly go 
from drab to fab. Furthermore, you're gonna need some deodorant. So this is just my favorite. I like the dry, I mean the spray deodorant. I feel like it just lasts longer on me. I don't really know. This is my favorite. It's a degree motion sense dry spray active shield. Okay, next up, you're gonna need perfume to smell good. This one is Victoria's Secret Coconut Passion. Just smells really, really good. And this is what you call a shower. You're gonna need lip gloss. This is key, key, if, key, 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 key. So this is the MAC Dazzle Glass in Sugar Rimmed. Last but not least, sunglasses. And this is how you look good after a workout. So obviously, if you guys wanna look cool after a workout and wanna look good, take my expert advice. All right, now that that's over, um, I'm actually gonna go to brunch right now with all the girlies, um, and I'll vlog a little bit there, and then we're gonna go to, I don't know, we're gonna do other stuff. I don't really know what's up, but let's go. Okay, look where we are for lunch. It is so cute. Everybody is here. Um, hey, everybody. Hi. Hey, Kristen. Hi. It is super cute. I just ate Kristen's sandwich. Tori, what do I What? I'm vlogging right now. Say hey, Kathleen. Uh, you can find me at, yes. at Mathleen. Um, <laughs> I'm very available for open friend requests. Looking forward to the non-judgment non zone. Everyone loved you in my vlog last time. Mm, you're welcome. Chug, chug, chug. Freshman, freshman. Do something crazy. Do something crazy. Pets in, pets in. Pets in. Out. I love song. college. I love drinking. We I love that, women. Like, freshmen. Ago. Leaving brunch now, that was really fun. Oh, there's a cone in my way. Okay, good. Not sure how I'm supposed to leave here, but see that? That's a Lululemon. That's where I just was. And that's also where I didn't spend any money because I am trying to be better about spending my money. All right, I need this light to change so that I can get a move on with my day. So now we're freaking never. Ah, very good by me. That was very main line of me to do. So anyway, we went to this adorable place. It's called White Dog Cafe. Um, if anyone is like from the Philly area, you guys obviously know the main line. Hit up White Dog Cafe. It was amazing. Um, food was really, really good. And it was just super cute in there. V aesthetic. I probably want to go on a date there soon. I just need someone to go on a date with. So anyone, um, hit me up. Thank you. Actually, not anyone. I'm the picky. I'm on my way home now. I'm super hungry, so I'm probably going to make some roasted veggies and um, maybe like a little... Oh, I'm going to make that... No, this isn't what I want. I'm going to make that banana bread also, which... Um, or banana bread muffins, which is going to be also really, really good for like before workouts and stuff. So I'm excited about that. I'll show you guys. I only have one banana, so it's going to be a really small batch, but that's fine because then I won't eat a ton of them. Um, and I'll show you guys how I make that as well. And then I'm going to make my video public. Then I'm probably going to head on down to the gym and work out a little bit more. God, I'm behind a school bus. Oh, it's moving. Sorry for my minor freak out right there. I am cool, calm, and collected once again. I promised that I'd make that banana bread and it's all I've been thinking about, so I'm be excited about it. So all you're gonna need is some sort of flour. I like to use, oh, also what's special about this um, banana muffins, I'm making muffins, is that it's no added sugar, so um, it's paleo and it's whatever. Okay, so anyway, I'm using, you can use almond flour, almond meal, whatever, I'm using paleo flour, chia seeds, pink Himalayan sea salt, cinnamon, baking powder, baking soda, ground nutmeg. You're gonna need four eggs. Also, let me just say this, I'm cutting the recipe in half because I only have one banana. Normally you need four eggs, but I'm only gonna use two. Um, but I'm out of eggs, so I'm using a neat egg. And um, you're gonna need some vanilla, coconut oil, and of course, bananas. So I'm gonna leave the full recipe down below. Just know that I'm doing everything in half. So first, it is two cups of flour, two tablespoons of chia seeds or flax seeds, half a teaspoon of baking powder, quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda, a dash of cinnamon. I never measure out cinnamon. I always just like love cinnamon, so I always put in like a little more than I probably should. A dash of nutmeg and a quarter teaspoon of pink Himalayan sea salt for taste. Mix that all around. Set that aside. Then over here, mash up one banana, quarter cup of coconut oil. I'm gonna add in a little dash of vanilla here to taste. I don't know what it is. I guess just lately I just like love baking because I've been baking a ton. And also, I know everyone's dying to know, my pumpkin balls have already been eaten by everybody, okay? All my friends have been asking me to bring them some. And me being the nice person that I am, I do bring them pumpkin ball eggs or pumpkin balls. Now I have none. 
left for me. So that's a little sad, but it's okay. So this is also vegan because I'm not using eggs. So it's paleo, dairy-free, vegan. I think it's also gluten-free, sugar-free. It's the most 2017 banana bread ever. Once your liquids look something like this, you're ready. Just start adding in the dry. Make sure that you grease these with like either cooking spray or coconut oil or you line them or do something because you're gonna be very sad if all your muffins have like, are stuck to the side. All right, I like to eat these like right before a workout. It's a really good pre-workout food. Then you're gonna throw these in the oven for about 20 to 22 minutes. And now they're out and they look like this and they should just pop right out. Yep, they should just pop right out if you have them greased right. I don't know why my muffins can never look cute, but like literally who cares? I'm no food blogger. Ow, that's kind of hot, but I'm honestly kind of pissed that they look so freaking ugly, but they taste really good. Holla. Headed to the gym. My ponytail is so freaking snatched right now. Like I put hairspray in my hair, okay? Like I'm trying to find my husband right here at Lifetime Fitness. Every time I go, I'm like husband searching, honestly, because it's all these guys from the main line which is a really nice area and um, they all are obviously into fitness that's why they're all at the gym and they all look great because they're freaking cute and they all have great bodies because they all are working out all the time so I literally go to find my husband every time I go to this gym and uh, so far nothing's happened haven't been on any dates uh, nothing really looks good I really look like an egg here but it's okay my hopes are V high and you know I'm really hoping to find a husband a great apple you might be thinking Tori you are always eating I know I freaking know all right I snack all day long I feel like I eat all day long why is that guy staring at me I feel like I eat all day long snack all day long but I mean I'm just like it's because I'm hungry like I don't eat when I'm not hungry I look so bad so now it's 9.45 and yeah, I got back, whatever. I'm like the worst. Vlogging at the gym, it's super awkward, especially when you're trying to find a husband. Like it's really hard to like vlog yourself and not look like a weirdo in front of your potential husband. Unfortunately, tonight was not the night. I did not find my husband tonight, but I did run into a friend from high school. So that was really great. And then we're actually grabbing lunch tomorrow to catch up because we like sat down and started, well, we were like on the machines next to each other and I didn't even like see him. And then he like threw his glove at me and I was like, oh my God, like, hello. And then we like got to talking for like literally half an hour on these machines. I felt really bad because we were just sitting on them. And um, we like totally lost track of time. We're like, okay, like let's like go to lunch and like talk more because um, we clearly have to do a lot of catching up. So that's what I'm doing tomorrow. But I wanted to end the vlog with something that I did last night and I'm not kidding, I, it, like it was amazing. And all that it is, it's apple cider vinegar and water. And I know this is nothing like, nothing new, nothing crazy, but I've always been like not a fan of doing this because it just, tastes really gross and a lot of my friends would do like shots of these like to be like healthy or whatever and then they'd like post a video of them on finsta like taking a shot and then it'd be them literally throwing it up because like your sometimes your body just rejects it so i only literally do that much and we're gonna do that much water here we go cheers Ugh. it like hits you man Ugh. Ugh. it's not even that bad do it for the health. Okay, <laughs> done. All right, I hope you all enjoyed that. That was all for today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you guys wanna watch another video, click anywhere on the screen right now and my last video will pop up. And yeah, if you guys are new here, subscribe and I'll talk to you guys all in my next video, which will be on Sunday. Bye, love you guys.